Well, good afternoon, Emmanuel. Uh, this is our thought for today. Today, uh, just so you guys are aware of the schedule, uh, Melissa and I and the family are trying to get away for some vacation, and so this week has been fairly busy. And let's just say I'm not sure that every day we'll be able to manage to get a thought for the day out. Uh, and then in terms of next week, we're away, so I don't know how many thought for the days there'll be next week. Uh, just you'll get the email if there's one. Uh, we'll just see how much time we have to record. Not while we're away. When we go away, we're not recording anymore. But before we go, uh, we'll just see if we can get a few batched out. But we'll be back late next week, and then we'll get the thought for the days back out to you again. You'll see I'm holding my root beer. Uh, just a reminder that this coming Sunday is Father's Day, and if you still have your Father's Day root beer at home, feel free to crack it open and just be uh, reminded of the fact that we appreciate the men here at the church, and we appreciate just how you model Christ uh, just to others, not only your own family, but to others within our congregation, and also to encourage you to keep that up, uh, that there is a generation that's watching you, and so make sure that you leave them that example to follow. So, uh, yeah, that's a reminder about the root beer. Uh, also, just, uh, again, if you're planning to come and watch the service here on Sunday morning, uh, make sure that you either call or email the office and get your name on the list. There's a nine o'clock and an 11 o'clock service, uh, just 50 people at each. Um, and so last week they were pretty much up to the number 50 for both services. Uh, so call and get your name in for that. Um, so in terms of thought for the day, I don't know if you remember back, and I'll probably put a link. There's this thing in YouTube where you can put a link right on the screen. So if you haven't seen it, this won't make much sense. But if you remember back about a week ago, I did a thought for the day and I was standing in front of a field of cows Texas Longhorns. Even if you don't listen to me, you should go watch the thought for the day just to see the horns on those guys. They're near my house. And, uh, but the, the point of, the, of being there wasn't even that it was tied in necessarily with the cows, but the point of my thought for the day was that of imitation. And uh, I remember I told the story about the guy who was identified by his walk. Uh, so uh, I wanted to come back to that because I gave you guys some sort of application where I was saying, try even this week. Is there somebody that you need to imitate Christ to? Or what are the ways you're going to imitate Christ to uh, Christ in this week? And so I just wanted to come back to that and just see if you guys did your homework. How you guys doing with that imitating Christ this week? Now, if you're like me, you've probably forgot a little bit. Um, and so this is a reminder. Uh, and that, the passage for that was in, um, Ephesians 5 and verse 1. It says, Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us and give himself for us a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. And even before that, it talks a little bit about being kind to one another, forgiving one another, be tender-hearted. And so that was the challenge. How do we imitate Christ in those ways? And how do we imitate Christ this week? The subject of imitation, especially imitating Christ, or where Paul would say, imitate me, I don't know about you, but I find that really intimidating and overwhelming and daunting and, and something that at times I feel like I just don't do a good job at it. I'd be probably embarrassed to say, hey, follow my example, because I know my example is not what it should be. Whenever I was in college, uh, there was a friend and I, and I was in college in Edinburgh, Scotland, and so often on a Saturday, we would get away, take the, the public bus downtown, and just walk around Edinburgh. We really didn't have very much money, uh, and so you just walk around and make our own fun for the day and sort of forget about the busyness of college. And uh, there was one time where we were walking through Edinburgh, and you've got, if you've never been to Edinburgh, it's kind of an older city. There's lots of kind of old stonework and old churches and old buildings and old courtyards and all kinds of history connected with the city. And there was this one courtyard where we were walking by, and we noticed this guy who was rollerblading. And uh, my friend and I had actually started rollerblading that year. Now, you've got to realize, rollerblading, roller skating, uh, ice skating is just not that common in the UK. And so I'd been to Canada, picked up a set of rollerblades, talked my friend into buying some rollerblades. And so we would start rollerblading around the college a bit. And we weren't very good, to be honest. Uh, but here was our dream come true. We'd seen, we came to this courtyard and there's this guy rollerblading and he is uh, quite good. Uh, let's just say that way, he was going backwards and he was going sort of skidding, drifting sideways on his blades along a bench that there was and stuff like this and effortlessly turning from front to back. Now, I know for a Canadian, you might think, well, who can't do that? But for people from the UK, we were just mesmerized. And, you know, as we watched him, there was kind of this 
uh, let's just say, a generous evaluation of our skills, where we were saying, hey, we're bros together and this kind of thing. Not to him, but just loud enough that the two of us could hear and that we're kind of, we're of the same type, rollerbladers together and the same kindred spirit and this kind of thing, even though that was a generous evaluation. He was leaps and bounds way ahead of us. Well, with the help of some technology, um, this, is, this is inspired by Don. Next, I'm going to have a string and paper clips or, or clothespins up as well. But with the help of my technology, let me show you the movie did. Because all of a sudden, this guy uh, was going fast, 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 fast. And my friend and I are like, doesn't he see the danger? Because right in front of him was probably at least, if I remember rightly, about 10 stairs uh, coming out of this courtyard. And we're like, this guy is just going to go right off those stairs and this is going to go bad. And it was almost at that point where we grabbed each other and one of us wanted to shout out, hey, don't you see the danger? Well, he gets to the end of the stairs and he springs forward. And now, so now he's above the stair, the steps going down. And as he's going over the stairs, he flips a complete flip this way, but he also flips a complete flip this way. So now just put that together. He's coming towards the end of the stairs. He flips and rotates. And now as he lands, He's now going backwards, and he didn't make it all the way. He made it maybe like, I don't know, three quarters of the way down the steps. And so he lands with a foot, like a rollerblade on one step, a rollerblade on the step above it, and he just rides him down, doom, 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 down the steps, and then he just turns forward again, and he rollerbladed off, never to be seen again, uh, at least by us anyway. Um, and so, anyway, here was my point. Even though the two of us were having a bit of fun, the three of us were all rollerbladers together, the minute he pulled off that move, we couldn't even pretend that we were like him. We just realized, how could we ever reach that level? How could we ever be like that guy? Like, it was almost one of those come home and throw away the rollerblades kind of moments, because, like, how do you ever begin to even think of practicing, like, a front flip and a 360 flip and stones and, like, going downstairs and stuff? Uh, and again, sometimes the reason why that illustration came to mind is just thinking of this subject of imitation where you can just sometimes be so just overwhelmed. How could I be? Like whenever you see the, the instruction and the example of Scripture, how could I ever compare to that? How could I ever even begin to try to be more like Christ? How could I ever succeed at imitating Him? And I, I want to just leave you uh, just uh, with a reminder of Psalm 86 and verse 11. And I think this is our daily prayer. As we think of imitating Christ, how are we going to do that today? I think it comes down to this, where it says, Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart. Um, and I will glorify your name forever. And I think it's just that present tense prayer. God, would today, would you teach me your ways so that I could walk in your truth? And it's that understanding that we still got room for improvement. We still got lessons we need to learn. And so even today, as we think about imitating Christ, and that's an example we want to follow, why don't we start by just echoing that prayer? Lord, today, would you just teach me what it means to imitate you? Would you teach me today your ways so that I could walk in your paths? And, and may that be a comfort and just that fresh, just rest in place, where we rest again on the promises of God, that even today His mercy is sufficient, that He will, He'll teach us His ways so that we'd walk in His paths. He'll unite our hearts to fear His name. And that's our prayer for today. So let me pray for you, Emmanuel. Heavenly Father, we do recognize that we don't want to miss the opportunity and uh, just the importance of imitating you. And Father, I think even of those things of forgiveness, of being tender-hearted, of loving one another. And Lord, just help us in those ways. And yet, Lord, I just know that we can be a bit like my friend and I as we're watching that guy in the rollerblades who are just so overwhelmed. How could we ever do that? And yet, Lord, we're praying. Our prayer this, this today is, Lord, would you teach us your ways? Lord, would you teach us your ways so that we would walk in your paths? Father, would you unite our heart to you so that we would fear your name? Lord, would you help us just even, uh, just guide us today, we pray, that we'd imitate you well. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.